Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for your goodness. We just want to thank you for your faithfulness. Here we are, by your grace, by your mercies. We thank you that, Lord, you are the one who have gone ahead of us to do battle on our behalf. We thank you for the victory in Calvary. We thank you for the death and resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ. That has given us this authority to war against the enemy by the grace of your power invested in us. Lead us through in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Winning the war against your family. Win, you need to win the war. Already the war is won. But we need to declare the victory. Amen. Oh, you didn't say amen. amen. So Jesus explained to us how can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man who is not a Satan. And then he will plunder his house. Matthew 12, 22, following all through to 29. So Satan is a limited, finite being. Say it, limited. limited. Finite, being. finite being. So, brothers, only God is infinite. He fills everything in the universe, we all know, in heaven. Because nobody created him. No. Nobody created God. Satan himself does not usually possess people because God created him. And he is therefore a finite being. So, brothers and sisters, if he, Satan, occupies one, one person, then he has limited himself in his activity, not necessarily in his influence. Rather, what we know is that he has this network of demons. And so he makes his demons rather occupy areas in people's lives and possess people. So Satan is a supersonic spiritual being. Rather, speeds around in fractions of sounds, roaming around the earth and universe to direct his forces. Why do we see it? We see it in Job chapter 1 and Job chapter 2. The Bible says that when the sons of God met, Satan also was roaming to and fro the earth. And then he showed up over there. And so this gives us the understanding that indeed Satan is a finite being. Now in a few instances, he occupies people or spends more time to intensify a specific activity and influence if you consider the attack on the individual as big business. So what the devil is doing that is now he has seen your prosperity, he has seen your influence. Some of you, let me tell you, what God showed me, if I tell you, it will blow your mind. And I know why the enemy is attacking you from all angles. And that's why the devil says, listen, I'm going to intensify this specific activity and make sure that I'll do a big business concerning the destiny of these particular chosen individuals who are specialized vessels of God. They are, say, specialized, specialized. Vessels, vessels of God. Of God. So these are the people the enemy is trying to attack and destroy them. But let me tell you, the enemy has limited power to operate. You see, that's why it's very pathetic that in some instances, people have gone to some of these places with all kinds of problems, including diseases that are purely physical, but end up rather having demons from which doctors, juju men, a false prophet, and all these people to compound their problems. Others too have visited such places with their marriage and family problems and gone back with more complex, complex problems. It's very sad. 
But I don't know why people refuse to go to Jesus. I don't know why. I don't know why. You see, at times, I sit there and say, what's going on? See? They refuse to go to Jesus for the answer to their needs. But the Bible makes it clear that if you and I refuse to believe the truth, you'll be made to believe a lie. Amen. Amen. Let's immediately you leave here and then you visit those places. Then God will release your mind. That is a reprobate mind. And then you start believing lie. Lie. The lie will become so clear to you as truth. But it's a lie. It means you are heading towards a very destructive path. And so Romans 1.28 says, And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind. Some versions is reprobate mind. To do those things which are not fitting. So how can you be visiting those places? For what? No. The Lord who have begun a good work will bring it to a successful what? End. Amen. And so there are certain basic principles for confronting and rebuking the devil. We know we are fighting wicked principalities and powers of Satan in the heavenly places. Ephesians 6, 12. Um, the Bible tells us that we are not fighting against flesh and blood. And more importantly too, Jesus went to the cross of Calvary and disarmed the principalities and powers triumphant or triumph over them. And made a public example of them. Colossians 2.15 tells us. And then now we as the church of Jesus Christ. We Christians are to make this fact known to the principalities and powers in the heavenly place. That's why we are here to pray. We are going to make it known to them. That is what Colossians chapter 3 verse 10 tells us. We have to decree, we have to declare, we have to tell the devil and his host of every evil spirit that Jesus has defeated them and we belong to Jesus who has given us authority over them by declaring that all authority has been given to me in heaven on earth. Say amen. Amen. Declare it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All authority. All authority. Has been given to me. Has been given to me in heaven, in heaven and on earth, and on earth in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. You see now. Let me tell you. Um, the reason why the devil is defeated and we have to enforce this victory is that there is also a wake-up call. Even Paul made mention in 1 Timothy 4, 1 to 3, says, Now the Spirit expressly says that in the latter times, some will depart from the faith. Says, some will what? Dep they were with us, but they left us and went away. And then he says, Giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. It's happening right now among some people who used to be created. Speaking lies and in hypocrisy, having their own conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from food which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. First Timothy 4 1 to 3. So that is why we need to engage in this warfare. Then, secondly, the reason why. I chose this topic, winning the war against your family is that dealing with an unsafe spouse, family members, or friends under satanic what? Influence. It's not easy. Are you with me? Yes. And so we need to pray that because these people are spiritually and morally blind. Now times I see people say, tell me that, oh, I've sent this money to these, my family members, to do this project to me. To, it's true. But these people, they will tell you that they are Christians, they go to church. But meanwhile, when they look at their constitution, I mean, their faith history, you realize that they are spiritually blind, they are morally blind. So 
We need to pray so that these are good people. But, you know, as we know, once they are in, under satanic influence or influence with Satan, they cannot see eye to eye with you on vital matters of right and wrong or shame and honor. So that's the problem. So it is worse when you have persisted in evil and bad habits to the point where their conscience becomes seared and the heart hardened. Then also, it's very, very important for us to understand that marriages and families are being destroyed in our times. In these end times, marriages and families are being destroyed. There seems to be a surge of what I call relentless, multiple, and devastating attacks on marriages, homes, and families in our times. Look at the divorce rate in America, the unfaithfulness. Each and every day we see it I'm not, through the media, social media, addiction, violence, child rebellion, witchcraft, and all cause. You see, um, it was in the news that almost 140,000 Americans died. For I mean, these few men, they died from methamphetamine or what did you call it? I don't know how to call it. Methamphetamine, whatever it is. I understand they brought it through the border, through Mexico. Just few months, few weeks, they all died. They were all dead. 140,000. Terrible. Because of politically incorrect. You see? So all these things are warring against the family. And so we have to pray poor parenting and child rebellion on faithfulness, adultery, sexual dissatisfaction, competition, financial mismanagement, cheating of one another, abuse and violence, insecurity, insincerity and dishonesty, in-law interference and encroachment, racial and tribal differences, poor career development, religious differences, witchcraft and occult practices. So we are going to pray against all this spirit, warring against the family. Are you with me? Now, the devil has always been at work through centuries, but it is expedient for us to analyze the situation in our age and recognize how vulnerable we have made our marriages and families to, at to attacks of Satan. And we are seeing all today in America. We are seeing it, even in our homeland, Ghana. And so we are going to take authority first. We are going to pray against a lot of these things that are warring against us, we are going to ask the Lord to intervene. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Hebrew uh, chapter 1, verse 2, 3, and then Hebrew chapter 11, 3, by faith we understand that the worlds were created by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. His son Jesus opposed all things by the word of the power of God. Amen. Amen. So, if God created all things by his word, then when things go wrong with what he has created, only the word of God has, can set it right. True of us. So, we are going to decree through the word of God in the name of Jesus that all these demonic influences and attack against the home, against the marriages, our marriage should stop and that the power of God will be released into those homes for peace to prevail. Let's pray. <laughs> Say amen. amen. Then we're also going to pray. You know, people do not really understand marriage and what it is all about. That's the modern trend, especially um, in this popular culture, what is happening right now. Many people marry for the wrong reasons. Some for money, for sex, fame, fantasy, specific needs. At times they'll tell you now, nah, that's stupid, right? See? That's not what the Bible says. So we are going to pray against all those 
I call it misappropriation of marital, you know, um, program of God. People who misappropriate things, you know. So we are going to take authority against all those motives, ideas, and all those. Why do we marry? And who is the head of the home? You see? These are the questions we need to ask. Many marriages are not started right. Some of them, differences, preferences, motives, are not addressed properly. Many begin in sin, especially fornication and dirty sexual acts, and take the holy hand of God off the relationship even before they start. Some will be doing all these things on the phone. They will tell you, you know, you are far away in Ghana, I'm here. And that is what I have to do to satisfy him or her, else this will happen and that will happen. So we are going to pray and take authority against all this dirty stuff. Are you with me? Listen, anytime you start doing those dirty tricks and all this, it releases the holy hand of God away from what God is about to do. And when that happens, you open the door for the enemy to enter in. From that time, you don't hear the voice of God again. You don't hear what God is trying to, you know, build upon. Because already, he has established a foundation for you. So now, you don't hear anything. And then you don't see anything. And then even if, even you are being told the truth, as if the person is your enemy. And so this is what is happening in a lot of these to be marriages or these marriages that are waiting to be consummated at the altar of God. So let's pray that these marriages will start right. Hallelujah. Amen. And that all these issues, differences, preferences, motives will be addressed properly based on the word of God. Let's pray. Amen. Say amen. amen. This is a fast track prayer. Then bad and dirty habits are not dealt with when people are single. Because evil, destructive habits that ruin marriages are taking wholesale into marriages and homes to consume the foundation and crumble the marriage and family. At times, addictions. Now we are realizing a lot of pornographic stuff, gambling. Illegal drugs, alcohol, tobacco, alcohol, laziness, intolerance, habitual lying, untidiness. If you are going to marry somebody and begin to see he or she keep lying and lying, you are in trouble, 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 because that is what it is. You see, for every foundation you create, you will one day harvest it. Whether you like it, you harvest it. So we are going to pray against this lady in Torah, habitual lying, untidiness, persistent anger and rage, gluttony, sex perversion, wrong friendship. I hope if this woman had known that this husband one day, you know, was stop, what? Probably she might have dealt with it a long time ago. You see, long time. And if this taxi driver knew that his lust for money eh, is going to cause the problem, he will have dealt with it a long time ago, right? How do you chase these young, young, young kids? It doesn't make sense. Does it make sense? So we are going to pray against all these hidden things we need to be dealt with. We need seasoned ministers to deal with it, not because you are going to go to the place, uh, you are going to attend to, I mean, you are going to attend that church um, for the minister to tell you, please, um, uh, you have to give this, you have to give tithe. You have, no, it's not about tithe. See, listen, one life, one life. God cherishes one life more than anything in this world. God can use one life to save the whole world. 
And that could be you. Amen. Are you with me? So we are going to pray right now against all this persistent anger, rage, glutinous, sex profession. Even if I'm your husband and you realize that I have that problem, you have to pray for me. Amen. Amen. Are, you, are you understanding? I can, we don't want to be, you know, straightforward. I'm not a holy man. I put it to myself. As a pastor, but I'm not that. I'm human. Amen. Amen. The, the, being a pastor is just a title. Are you with me? Yeah, it's a title. So, when, you see, you have to be, when, when you are in the presence of God, be very careful that you are dealing with a God who knows you more than you even know yourself. Amen. So, let's pray. Father. <laughs> Just let me pray. Amen. Amen. We're also going to pray against poor communication from the time of courtship. You see, communication is the blood of marriage and all relationships, you know, is very, very important. Television, radio, music, movies, newspapers, and whatever, magazines, internet, cannot be substituted for communication with your spouse. It cannot. So we are going to pray. That's where poor parenting and child what? Uh, rebellion, unfaithfulness, adultery, sexual dissatisfaction, all those things normally come through all those, you know, avenues. Yeah, so we are going to pray against it, abuse, violence, insincerity, dishonesty, racial, travel differences, and all these things. Let's pray. Take authority in Jesus' name. Say amen. amen. We're also going to pray divorce, violated and disappointed, marriage and remarriage. If the spirit hurts and problems from any previous relationship are not probably dealt with, any other future marriage will suffer as well. So we are going to pray. These, is, these are the things I call uh, habits and hidden things underneath. You know, they will just pull it underneath the bed. But they have to deal with it. It need to be taken to, um, how do we call it, dry cleaners, right? And so we are going to pray. And we are going to ask the Lord to intervene in these areas. Begin to pray. <laughs> Father in the name of Jesus. Let me pray. Amen. Amen. We're also going to pray against certain demons. There are demons for specific diseases, and we, are, we must be able to recognize them and pray. You see, there are certain families, yes, that they were dealing with. We ask ourselves certain questions. We say, now, when you see a family with this particular sickness or demonic disease, what does it mean? It means that this was the foundation of that family. We, we categorize it over here, we mention it, and then we prayed against it. So we are going to pray, and some of you who came here, you realize it's true. Because these are, so it's easy, you see? I think when I see certain marriages, some of the things that are coming forth out of it, it just click. You say, listen, this is a foundation they couldn't deal with. So for me, this is my belief. As a deliverer minister, though, um, I don't want to cut, cut, I mean, categorize myself as probably that's the sole area or probably a play. That's the area that I've specialized, but it's part of my calling. But much of the uh, deliverance cases that I've handled is informing me that anybody who wants to get married, the first thing is both spouses must undergo deliverance are you with me it's very very important 
So we are going to pray against those marriages that are being attacked strongly by the evil one. Um, initially, our focal test was that then um, uh, if a strong man enters into what? Um, I mean, what? If you enter into a strong, you, first you have to bind him before. So we, that's what we are doing. We are binding all these demonic elements that are fighting against the family. Begin to pray. Amen. I've had experiences where at some time you begin to realize that someone gets sick, a bad habit persists, violent erupts, a problem cross up at the home. You see, whenever there is a problem of maybe somebody is sick in the home, it could be the father or the mother, or there's a problem in the home that needs to be dealt with. And then violence erupts up. When you realize that it means there is a demonic problem underneath. Are you with me? So at that point, the one or two people within the family need to pray and ask the Lord to what? Intervene. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? So we are going to pray that God will give us the knowledge to understand. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Now, recently, something like that happened in my family. Something cropped up, and I realized that there were differences. The whole of so we started praying. Now, peace has returned. Amen. Amen. So we are taking authority against those structures. There are demons for specific diseases, and we must be able. To to recognize them, call them by name, and then rebuke them in the name of Jesus. And so we are going to rebuke them in the name of Jesus. And the regular medication is to go to Scripture, activate Scripture, and then attack it in Jesus' name. Let's pray. <laughs> Father, We pray, say amen. amen. Finally, we are praying. I want you to pray into your homes, your homes right now. Amen. amen. Pray aggressively. Amen. amen. Attack any hidden agenda of the enemy to cause confusion, misunderstanding. Amen. amen. Are you with me? Divisions. Attack it in the name of Jesus. Render it ineffective. Rebuke it in Jesus' name. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord God. Lord God. Release your anointing of breakthrough. Release your anointing of breakthrough. On my marriage. On my marriage. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord God. Lord God. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I invite you. I invite you. Come in to come to my aid. To come to my aid. In every difficult situation. In every difficult situation. In my marriage. In my marriage. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All of my marital properties. All of my marital properties. Matrimonial properties. Matrimonial properties. With a strange woman. With a strange woman. Which the strange woman. Which the strange woman. Set apart. 
set upon. I withdraw them. I withdraw them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I withdraw peace. I withdraw peace. Harmony. Harmony. Unity. Unity. Love. Love. And continuity. And continuity. Between my husband. Between my husband. And the strange woman. And the strange woman. In the name of Jesus. 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 All spiritual arrows. All spiritual arrows. Evil arrows. Evil arrows. All spiritual evil arrows. All spiritual evil arrows. Fire. Fire. From the strange woman. From the strange woman. Presently. Presently. Into my home. Into my home. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Upon my home. Upon my home. And go back to the center. And go back to the center. In the name of Jesus. 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 Angel of God. Angel of God. Go right away. Go right away. And disconnect. And disconnect. The relationship. The relationship. Between. Between. My home. My home. And familiar spirit. And familiar spirit. In my father's heart. In my father's heart. And my mother's heart. In my mother's heart. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let all the hindrances. Let all the hindrances. To the manifestation. To the manifestation of my restoration, of my restoration to my rightful home, to my rightful home, depart from me, depart from me in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lion of Judah, Lion of Judah, consume, consume every faith, every faith, liar, liar of familiar spirit, of familiar spirit, rolling against my home, rolling against my home. Father, we thank you for this miracle that has just happened. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you.